Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, all my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ? I love you all. This is um, DJ Elisha Johnson here once again to share a dream that the Lord gave me last night to share with you guys. Um, and I, I remember this particular dream um, that I had. I've been having like the same dream over and over again. This has to be like the at least the third or fourth time that I've had the same exact dream, but it's always kind of bizarre. Like it seemed like deja vu, kind of. Um, but this dream, I had, the Lord had gave me um, a little bit of wisdom to like you know what it was. Uh, what it was showing me, I guess, what it represented. Um, so I keep having this dream of this this city, and it seems like a city kind of like kind of like San Francisco or something like that. It looks like you know all the buildings and stuff mixed with like maybe New York or something. Um, and it seems it's like on an island or something like that. And um, there's all these buildings everywhere. It always seems like it's complete chaos when I'm having this particular dream. Um, and like it seems like a complete collapse and everything and riots and uh, you know cars abandoned, people running around. Stealing from stores, breaking into people's houses, and just craziness. And that's what it, the, the environment it was in. Like, you know, if it was, um, like the sun was gone and it's just darkness and there's fires everywhere and stuff like that, just complete collapse and chaos. Um, and this is, I'm always in this city when I have this dream. And there's always this man that we're chasing for some reason. There's this man that's running away that we are chasing because we know that he's the cause of destruction or something. Something happens to where we're chasing this guy. And um, I don't really remember what he looked like, but I know that we were chasing this guy. Um, and... It's like we're always chasing him around the blocks and he ends up going through like this this field then running through this field um, and beyond the field is like another part of the road and stuff like that around buildings and this field kind of looks like a cornfield but it's not it's a it's a field full of these um, these flowers these plants I don't, I don't know if you can see this, but if you can see that right there, I tried to, you know, just quickly sketch it a little bit of what the plant looked like, and that's kind of what it looked like, um, and I don't know what kind of plants they were, I never seen them before. But it kind of seemed like there there were plants that look like that, and also plants that kind of look like Venus flytraps, I guess. So and then other plants like you know daisies and lilies and all the other stuff, um, you guys. So I was uh, chasing him through these plants, and my brother was with me, and he had a sniper. For some reason, he had a sniper. And I ran after this guy that we always were chasing, and I jumped on top of him, and I held him down. And um, my brother shot him in the head. And I thought he was dead, but he came back to life. Um, and my brother shot him in the head like two more times with a sniper. Those bullets are like this big and they're sharp. And this dude kept coming back to life. And eventually, I think after the third or second shot to the head, and him coming back to life, I think he um got up and ran. I don't remember if, I don't think he uh, stayed down. I think he got up and ran and I lost him. Or he just disappeared or something. 
I don't really remember, but I know that we shot him in the head a bunch of times, like two or three times, and all those times he came back to life. Like this dude was not staying down for nothing. And then after, I, I guess he got away. Um, and after that, I walked back into this field of flowers. Um, and they all began to speak to me. They, they had, one fell next to my brother. And um, he picked it up, put it next to his ear like a phone kind of. And I saw the plant moving and it was like, pss, 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 like he was whispering or something to him. And then, like, we went in the field with all the other plants, and they all began speaking to us. Um, I remember they were saying something about this guy or or how to, um, why we couldn't destroy him or something, or how uh, he would be destroyed, something like that. But they, these plants were speaking to us. So it was kind of weird, you know, um, and that was one dream that I had that I wanted to share with you guys. And um, I want to read this scripture to you all. This is Revelation 13 through 13 through 5. 13 verse 1 through 5. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea having heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads a blasphemy, a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I was like now now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave his power gave him his power his throne and great authority and I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded and his deadly wound was healed and all the world marveled and followed the beast so they worshiped the dragon and who gave authority to the beast and they worshiped the beast saying who is like the beast who was able to make war with him and he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and he was given authority to continue for 42 months and you guys that right there is the scripture that the Lord brought me to about that particular dream and um I believe that God was you know showing me that this guy is um this is about to happen very soon the beast is about to be wounded today, um, and when you uh, see that person that's in power, who people are calling, uh, you know, Jesus, or who, I think I know who it's going to be, but um, I'm not sure. It's kind of a film. And I believe this person will be wounded today and rise. Um, and I believe that this dream, because when it is said that when uh, you have dreams back to back, and then, you know, you have this particular dream over and over again, God is trying to tell you something. Um, so I believe that the Lord is showing me that this is about to happen very soon. Um, so I hope this dream was a blessing to you all. Um, I love you all stay praying stay fasting stay seeking God's face and uh, repent of your sins and the Lord will forgive you uh, I love you all and uh, Shalom